Hello everyone, welcome to Blockman Editor Tutorial. In this video, we will give you a complete introduction to the Blockman Editor. Launch the editor and create a voxel grassland project. There are some preset blocks in the game component that we can use directly. For example, select the red brick. Drag it to the scene window, you should be able to find a red brick block moving along with the mouse. Click the left mouse button to place a red brick block in the scene. If the red brick block is no longer needed, right click to cancel selection. When we select a block in the scene window, the position can be adjusted by move option in the top menu bar. The position can be adjusted by move option in the top menu bar. There are two ways to delete a block in the scene. We can use the click delete option in the top menu bar or simply use the delete key from your keyboard. If we need to operate on blocks within a certain range at the same time, we can use the rectangular marquee tool from top menu bar. Click on the rectangular marquee tool. Select a suitable location in the scene window and left click your mouse. Now if you move your mouse around, the selection range will change accordingly. Left click again to confirm the selection range. Then, we can bulk replace, fill or delete blocks within the selected range. We're going to demonstrate the effects. Replace allows you to replace the blocks within the selection range with other textures. If there are blocks of multiple textures within the selection range, you can specify which block to replace. Fill allows you to fill the range with blocks of specified textures. If there are already blocks within selection range, these blocks will be turned as well. Similar to filling, deletion will delete all blocks within the frame selection range. Other than the pre-embedded templates, we can create new templates by ourselves. Click new button in the bottom of game components view. Name your template and confirm. By adjusting the properties, you can refine the template. Let's first add a texture to the block in the basic properties. A block is made up of six faces, so you need to add textures in all of them, top and bottom, left and right, front and back. Since the lock created is not transparent, make sure to check the non-transparent block option. If drop after death is checked. When the player dies, blocks inside the player's backpack will drop into the scene. We can modify the collision volume of a block by changing its physical attribute. The size of the block is initially set to be 1 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 1. There's no need to adjust the collision volume in most cases. If you type a number greater than 0 in, block elasticity. The block can bounce back players when stepped on. When there are multiple layers of blocks, when we break a block at the bottom, you need to check, block can auto drop, if you want to let the block above drop down. In the block interaction, we can set whether the block can be destroyed. If a block is destroyed, you can also set whether block materials will drop after destruction, along with the number of materials dropped. Let's run and see how everything goes. In addition, we can also set the sound effect played when placing or breaking a block. Currently, the editor supports audio in MP3 format. When importing an audio file, please pay attention to its format. If the new block is a special block, for example, you can climb on it or swim in it. You need to change settings in the special block properties. Note that special blocks cannot have a collision volume. If there is a collision volume, we need to delete it. Here's a sample of game scene built with blocks. That's it, thank you all for watching. We hope this video helps. If you want to know more about our editor, comment below or post topic on our official forum. See you in the next video.